the kinds of images that we see in mass media about prisons and about people who are in prisons really desensitize us, right, to the, the kinds of pain and trauma um, that people are living through. Mass Story Lab is a art and design project that is based on the idea that the people who are most directly impacted by mass incarceration through their stories, through their creativity, and, and their lived expertise have everything that we need in order to find solutions to truly ending mass incarceration. You're gonna hear stories today about people who might have done something wrong, and it might not have been a mistake. They might have made a conscious decision to do something wrong, but you have to dig deep within yourself and say to yourself, does that mean a person deserves this? People who serve time in jails and prisons are human beings. Their fathers, their mothers, their uncles, their brothers, their sisters, their wives, their husbands, sons and daughters, all human beings who have made bad decisions or maybe made, a, or maybe made one bad decision, but that bad decision or those series of bad decisions should not fully define who that person is. The earliest memory that I have of Rikers Island was an applause. And the correctional officer stood up and said, that's what I'm talking about. That's job security walking right through the door. Trans rights activist, trans intersex woman, going on the island for something that she did was right. Protect herself and her friend. Seven correctional officers in 2014, December 30th through January 3rd of 2015, proceeded to beat me for three days straight bloody while one of their inmates helped the correctional officers rape a person and beat a person for three days. If I was gonna survive over here, then I had to speak the language of Rikers Island. And anyone know what the universal language of Rikers Island is? The universal language of Rikers Island is violence. My first routine was do push up to get ready to And yes, it can be heavy to hear these, all these different stories, and yet it's still so important. We can't really shy away from the damage that this system has done. Um, all we can do is like look it you know, head on, um, acknowledge it, um, see the kind of connections that exist um, in all of our pain. Because honestly, even if you've never been incarcerated, you have somehow been touched by the prison industrial complex in this country. There's no way you haven't. 2016, my son is still on Rikers Island. Seven years, that's not temporary. In the meantime, he has been beaten, abused, mentally, physically, sexually, you name it, and they broke him down really, really well. Raise your hand if you believe that something needs to be done about Rikers Island. Once we have had a chance to really connect with these survivors, um, these warriors, these creatives, these storytellers, um, once we've had a chance to really connect with them, um, then it becomes our time to get up out of our seats and move around and really think about where we stand on this issue. On that end is close records. And on that end is reform. And you could be anywhere in between. Yes, today's stories and workshop did get everybody in the room involved which is one of the rare moments that this has ever happened that I've seen over the years of being on panels. And the fact that people were in discussion groups, uh, I stepped into a couple of them to listen, and a lot of good ideas came out of it, a lot of good suggestions came out of how to go about closing Rikers. My name is Sharon White, and I'm a retired correction officer. And I would love to stand here and say, what the storytellers are saying is not true, but it's so true. It is so true. Mastery Lab is going to travel to 20 cities across the country. Each of them will choose a question that they are grappling with, that they want to take on. Whatever it is that people want to take on, um, we customize a Mastery Lab experience around that particular question. In every lab, there are always stories 
from people from that community who were directly impacted in a range of different ways. And there are also inside zones, creative spaces in which people get to envision and begin to catalyze change in their communities.